man that's good i got sick and it never went down to my lungs it was happy to just hang out in this big old nose of mine so <laughs> and i woke up this morning and coughed up some great shit so i'm like oh it's over it's over i win i win you know that feeling when you wake up in the morning you're like yeah i won absolutely yeah how are you good man good doing good you already worked out no nah, not yet no nah, i'm not a morning person yeah good me neither hey is, is that age related or or did that when as a kid were you a morning person nope no never never man <clears throat> um you perform uh uh worse in the morning or you just don't uh -oh. like it or what's the because they're always like successful people get up early and they get their first workout done by five i'm like not my body i drink i'm i'm successful i get my shit done my first cup of coffee yeah I, that's I, I guess to to each his own man it's 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 weird because even even in college those 545 workouts it's hard to 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 be able to do 1855 meter runs or you know 18 110 runs at 545 in the morning at your best but i mean somehow you get it done but nah not me i'm like late morning you know nine, how about how about say that again caleb like a nine ten o'clock kind of guy yeah, yeah hey what uh, james what about um uh 10 p.m like yeah. last night i put on the 30 pound vest and i did 300 lunges uh with the 30 pound vest yeah just at yeah. 10 o'clock at night just yeah now. yeah i'm a, I, I, i'm i'm like dracula man i I go to sleep at like one, two in the morning for some yeah. reason. Yeah. And so you don't mind getting it at night either? Nope. Nope. And, um, hey, I want to just jump into the deep end, the most controversial thing I could find on your Instagram account. You ready? Okay. They teach us that you keep the arms straight so that you could transfer energy, right? And they give right. that example in the L1. They're like, hey, mm -hmm. um, if you have a bungee cord and you pull it and you tow in a car, like you're going to lose all that energy before it gets taut. Yep. And so it's got to be a steel pull. But I really like this post. And, you know, and everything's supposed to be core to extremity and all that. Um, what What is the truth? Tell, like, let's pretend like this is going to be like flat earther shit. People are going to get so angry. But fuck them. Uh, what is the truth? Is, is there a place for the arm bend? And and who's to tell you and Rich Froney not to do it? Um, if you're a new beginner, I wouldn't. As a coach, I wouldn't teach that to a new beginner. As they as they go on to develop, um, then as um looking at their form, looking how they move, depending on what type of athlete they are, if they're CrossFit or Olympic weightlifting, um then I would suggest, hey, try a little bit, you know, a little <coughs> early arm bend. Not as, not as excessive as me, but hey, it might, it might feel better. It might work for you. You know, conventional ways doesn't always work for everyone. It, you know? Is there an explanation for why it works? Like, is there a, um, it, it actually makes it more rigid, a better transfer of energy, or is there, do you have an explanation for why? Just comfortable. comfortable. Just comfortable. For me, long arms, keeping my arms long, I feel as if I lose power. Mm. But they, if you went to someone and you were like, hey, I want to go to the Olympics, they would try to break you of that habit, right? Are, do any Olympians do this? Do any of the guys at the very top do this? Oh, man. If you watch uh, a lot of the, the, the guys at the top, especially China, uh -huh. some of them have an early arm bend, but – not as excessive as mine. There's not they're, they're not pulling early from the floor. They'll pull early once you get past the knee in the second pull. Okay, okay. And so you're saying your arm bend is before you get to the knee? Before. Is your arm bend um, the first thing you do? Is it what pulls it off the ground? Um I call I call what I like to manipulate the weight. If it's heavy, you know, I'm like, "All right, I'm going to grip this thing off the ground." You know, it's just it's it's just going to move fast. But you know, it's it's whenever I go heavy, I just like to throw all the mechanics out the you know out the door out the window. Um, um inter interesting. Uh, uh, did you ever um not have an arm bend? Was there ever a time when you were or or there a time when you were like, "Fuck, I got to get rid of this thing," and you spent a year just trying to change your motor recruitment pattern? No. Nah. No. Always had it. Yeah. Always had it. <clears throat> interesting. And that's what it no, comes because, to. Because, because for me, if I have a long femurs, 
like I said, keeping the long arms, it just it just wasn't feeling right, and I didn't feel as powerful. Even when I was power cleaning in college, it just it just didn't feel natural, you know. Because you know, most football players we have tight hips, so we can't get in that that you know butt down, chest up, starter position that that um, the L one in in Olympic weightlifting teaches. It's it's uncomfortable. And and the, and the femur is the one between the knee and the hip, the right. thigh bone. Right. Right. And what do you mean yours is long? Just like relative to like, just like what a, like a, if you look up in an in, in encyclopedia, dude, yours is, yours is relative the ratios to somebody are long. That's, that's, you know, I'm six feet relative to somebody that's five, five. Right. You know, five, four, five, three, you know, do taller people. And oh, okay. Okay. So it's not, it's not even not that it's necessarily longer than just other people's who's six foot. It's just taller. People just have longer femurs, longer femurs. Right. Right. Um. And has anyone ever tried to take it? Your arm bend from you is like a coach ever. Like, do people will be like, no, no. My one coach. You uh, think that's because like you, people see you clean and jerking uh, over three hundred pounds, and they're like, I'm not saying nothing to him. Well, that and and who I am as an athlete, just as a natural athlete. Like, um, my one coach Max Max Aida, he said you you don't need to change. You know this didn't. This is who you are as an athlete. You're powerful. You're, you're you're the one percent of the one percent. Um, you're just you're just a ball of 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 um, a rubber band. Mm -hmm. You know, ball of rubber band. Like like you're so fast twist dominant that you don't really need to go the conventional way because you're moving a weight that most people are trying to get are trying to get to. You know, um, it's, it's not the norm. Right. Right. You know, and, and right. okay, and so well, you're an anomaly just as an athlete. So there's right. going to be some things that are different than conventional wisdom. Correct. So why so so why change that for an anomaly athlete? Yeah, that's cool that you that's cool that you found that early that, or that you were confident enough to to do that early. Mm -hmm. Cuz probably some people spend their whole life trying to fix their shit. Right. When they do. Hey, um uh, good luck finding this Caleb. Sorry, I didn't put this in the notes. There's a video in there of you doing burpees um to a uh 10 inch jump and you do and you and you do for I think that other it, league for that other league oh no oh is that what it was, it was for the grid league it, but it's yeah. in your gym uh, oh maybe it was a 17 inch jump you're you're doing burpees and you're jumping and you're touching a ring and you do 10 burpees i can't i can't remember but what do you think that would be an amazing um element uh -huh. for the open or for quarterfinals or semifinals or the games and to just, Hey, let's just make it. So you got to jump way higher. Right. Like, like way, way higher. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's probably in the first like uh 30 or 40 posts. Um, uh, do you like that? Or is that, is that too specialty? Do you know what, which one? I mean, you're like, just like a, you hit the burpee and then you launch up and like, you yeah. kind of flow yeah. it up there and you touch the ring for a second. Then you come down. Yeah. That was for the, uh, for the Greg league. Like for your tryouts. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 shit's insane. Um I don't think that's gimmicky at all. That's that's athleticism. That's that's full expression of something crossfitters should be able to do. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, they they, <coughs> they should, you know, they they should um Do you have a whole are you laughing cuz you got a whole list of shoulds? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I mean, you know, it that that type of movement it it, it is kind of it comes down to a, a specialty, especially on how fast you're getting out of the burpee and able to just go right into a jump uh -huh. like that. So, so if, if there's somebody that's, you know, that have a, a natural, let's say 38 inch, it, it's probably, it's relatively good for, for an athlete, but if somebody has like a 38 inch vertical, they should be able to get up there that easily. Yeah. However, are they fast twitch enough to be able to get into the burpee, out of the burpee, into that jump all in one? Right. Instead of having to take a time, get up from the jump, take a step, jump, and then take a step back into the burpee, take a step up. Yeah, yours wasn't segmented. All 10 of your right. burpees are basically one movement, like the hand on a clock. It doesn't stop. Right. right. It's not like you can't be like, oh, he stopped to reset his feet or nothing. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And you're saying, okay. And it's just crazy how high you jump so many times. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'd, I, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, man, I'd love to see that in the games. That would be awesome. <laughs> and, and you could measure that out separately for every, for every athlete. Correct. Yeah, that's cool. Do you still practice uh, stuff like that? Yeah, I'm doing that now since I, I signed up for the USATF Masters um, Indoor Championship. Yeah, what what are you what are you doing? Can, isn't it enough? Can't you you have two? Can't you just be like me and sit in like an old chair somewhere where your kids are competing and just watch? You're still pushing yourself. To, yeah, uh, but, go yeah. back for people who don't know what you're about, you're embarking on. I think you 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 made the announcement on your Instagram in August of I wrote it down uh, in August of last year, right? That you're mm -hmm. going to do some track event. What is that? Right. So it's the USATF Masters um, 60 meters indoor 60 meters. And, How come uh, I've never heard of 60 meters? Is that nor I thought it was, is that normal? 60 meters? Yeah, yeah. That's a track indoor. Because okay. I'm dumb. It's is 60 meters. Instead of 100, it's 60. Uh -huh. Okay. Indoors. Okay. But then they have the 200. So the 200 is the whole track. Okay. And then and then they have the four the 400, which is, you know, two times. And Don't then, make fun of me, James. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Don't make fun of you me. You know, no, no, no. Most people don't know about that, but, but, but yeah, um, I'm looking, you know, because I did the masters and, and the elite side of Olympic weightlifting, right? And so I got the records on, on the masters 35 to 39. So now that I'm turning 40 in June, I want to go after the American record and then hopefully the world record for the 40, <coughs> the 44 um, age range. So in the, in, so you have the record for the 60 meters in the United States? No, 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 the, um, I don't. I have the record for um, Olympic weightlifting. Wait, okay, oh, okay. But oh, the, so switch uh, to a different discipline. You're like, hey, look at, I'm not just a meathead. Look at, I can, I can right. run faster than you too. Right. You know, because um, coming into college, I was the seventh fastest guy in the nation. Um, and, you know, track, track is one of those that's like, that's like Olympic weightlifting. You don't have to really teach me as much because I'm naturally explosive. You know, maybe maybe you need to correct, you know, my, my form just a little bit or or just teach me how to get out of the blocks in those first three steps because your first three steps need to be at least seven yards or 10 yards. Oh, okay. Be able to, to, to be able to hit a, a sub four four or a sub four three. When you say seven or ten, you mean uh, between seven and ten? Yeah. Okay. Hey, when you see yourself, I don't, I don't know shit about running. When you see yourself setting up here, do you like what you see? Yes. Yeah, that's it's good. Yeah. Because and are you? Go ahead. For 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 this race is all about the start, and and it's all about that first ten to twenty meters. And um and you listen for a gun to go off, and as soon as you hear it, you pop out of there. Correct. So so we set up in the blocks. We put our hands down, right? We uh we line our hands up, and then the official would say, "Set," and then our butts go up, and then the gun go off. Damn, is that nerve wracking? Is all get out right there? Um, when you're lining up against others like that, yeah, because you just, you, it's like I said, it's all about that start. And so you can't move or you can't flinch unless it's the gun because. Oh, are, you can't flinch even. You can't know. You can't flinch because they, 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 um, they'll let out the gun two times and then they'll let whoever know who false started. What do you mean they'll shoot? They'll shoot the gun twice if someone false starts or. Right. Right. If someone false starts. Oh, wow. That's cool. Hey, have you ever false started in your track no. career? No, never. Mm. Never. Are those guys, do those guys talk to each other when you, yeah. when you line up, like, kind, kind fuck, of. do you fuck with dudes in the, in the lineup? Well, what, what a lot of people do is when they're warming up, they like to look cool. So it's always that guy that you're looking at. It's like, man, he looks, he looks pretty fast. Like, look at his warm up. He looks cool. That is just an intimidating factor. <clears throat> okay. You know, you're warming up and you're going 80% and you look like you're moving fast. You're like, man, he, look, he looks pretty fast. But it all comes down to when you get in those blocks. And as soon as that gun go off and then it's, all right, you know, you, you, you look good and you look fast warming up. But 
the real race comes when the gun goes off. Um, uh, will there be dudes there that you re- know from uh, nationals or the Olympics or from college track and field? Are you going to look over and be like, oh, shit, that dude's still in the game? Could be. I mean, you know, it's 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 open. So, you know, Tyreek Hill could be there. The cheetah. And, and he's the same age you are? Uh, a little bit younger. So, so it's open. It's not thir- I thought you said it's 30 it's 40 to 45. Right, right. So 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 whatever well, whatever I place in that you know if the record the, the record for the 40 to 44 is 69. Right? So 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 during this race he he jumped into an open race even though it's the Masters he still jumped into an open race. So so they'll let anybody in. But if you were to win, they'll put that that oh, time oh. to your age. Okay, so you could take fifth but still set the world record. Correct. Okay. Holy shit. So that guy's on another level. He just destroyed everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's Tyreek. Oh, Tyreek yeah, Hill turns on the Hill. Jets. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. Hey, um uh I, I went to um in two thousand I don't remember the year, ten or eleven. I went over to the IMG Academy with a bunch of CrossFitters and they were running sprints. And I remember Dave was running was you know fooling around with the games athletes and he ran a sprint and like three steps in he pulled a hamstring what does that mean when someone pulls a hamstring and are you more predisposed for that to happen to you since your hamstrings are used to just being loaded with so much weight yes yes so that's why now my my main thing in this training is to make sure my quads and my hamstrings don't pop because of my age so the hamstrings that one that's basically from your like your butt cheek and then it connects to the your bottom of, behind your knee. Yep. Yeah. And, and what does that mean when someone says they pulled it? What does that mean? Um. Does it, it actually break? It. Huh? Does it actually break? It like it snaps off. You could pull, or or. So or it's bad. It if it happens, you need surgery. It depends. So you see, so, dudes, they all stand up and they start like doing this weird like one legged hop. You know when you see right, it happen. right. So it's like it, it, it's it's just like a tight rubber band. You snap a rubber band. Yeah, that's what happened. But if you have discolored figuration, that's bad. Oh, like if it's, it's some big old bruises on the back. Yeah, that's a tear. So you may or may not need um, surgery. <coughs> but have you, have you ever pulled your hamstring? Never. All right. Well, sorry, Never. I don't mean to jinx you. <laughs> Uh, what about what about cramping? Oh yeah, man, that's the name of the game. That especially is for especially for fast twitch dominant athletes like me. Like it's it's just that's that's all the time. So so you'll get there and you'll warm up. What what do you do for a warm up for a sixty meter? Just exp, you know fastest you're ever going to run in your life. Uh, uh, um, static stretch, dynamic foam roll. Um, Will you be sweating when you get to the in the blocks? I don't like to do that. No, I never did. No, wow. No, it's for. I don't need for for me. I don't need to do too much. Well, you know? well. Let me let me. When I saw you, it's interesting you say that because when I saw you bench press, I saw you in, in a video last night. You started light. I mean, for you, you started light. You started at one thirty five and worked your way up. When I noticed you didn't do that for other lifts, right? So for some stuff, you warm up, right? Mm, no, my warm up mm. is in is within my lift. So okay, okay. I always go. I always go 135, 225, <laughs> and, and this is bench, 135, 225, 315, okay. 365, you know, and, and that and that'll be the same for power cleans, and that'll be the same for power snatch. For me, it's, you know, e- even when I was on a platform, even my coach knew, you know, it, it doesn't take much for James Townsend to get warm. That's just my body type. And I'll even see Even at other 40, guys, huh? Even at 40, it's not changing? No. Wild. No, because because I watch other guys and they'll do 20, 25 <laughs> reps and I'm and I'm only at three. And I'm yeah. like, no, yeah. Hey, um, you didn't notice something happen like after thirty five? No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Real as I started approaching um forty, I really remember like around thirty seven. It was like, oh, I can't even. I have to be just fully drenched. I feel like to even get to 75%. Even like one pull up sometimes is like I'm like, "Whoa, this is fucking hard." Not I could really. do 20, I could do 20 unbroken, but if I don't warm up, just one is like feels like I'm carrying cinder blocks. Really? Yeah, it's f- bizarre. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, but but no one's ever accused me of being an athlete. Hey, well, um, James, uh, do you think you'll set the record? You think you'll set the record? Yeah, yeah. Have you have you gone out to a track and had the stopwatch out and you're like, Not oh, yet. This, no, no, yeah, six nine, six nine is 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 there is there for me? You know, um, under six nine. Do you know the dude's name who got that? You know the dude who holds the record? His name? Ah oh, man. Um <coughs> I forgot because he also has the hundred meter record at a 10-7. So now that that is one I would really have to train for. For for the which one? For the uh, 100 meters. Oh, that extra 40 meters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now now that, you know, I got that 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 just takes more running. So you know, that's like endurance for you, 100 meters. You're like, oh, I got to make sure I can push that last 40. 200 meters is is um, Aaron is Aaron Thigpen. Yes, Seven. yes. Oh Aaron. shit, that record's been around forever, dude. Yeah, yeah. Ran six nine and then for the hundred, he ran a ten seven five. Oh, he holds both. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'll run both um the same day. No, no. This this one is just indoor. Then they have a, a indoor championship in June, and then Worlds is in uh, August in Sweden. <clears throat> uh, can, can no? Listen, Ken. I do. Tw- I I never kip. I'm a. I can do twenty. I'm. I'm. I'll make you a video. I'm a strict. I, I believe you. I I'm believe. A, I'm a strict guy. I always strict. I don't like kipping. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the movement. Really? No, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy do you do do you still hold some of the global gym movements? Pro- or you like probably probably because yeah. I still like all that stuff. I I like uh skull crushers and lap pull Same down. Way. Like if I go to a hotel, I'm so ex- I see a lap pull down bar and I get chub up a little bit. Yep. Same I'm way. Like, Come Same on, way. boys. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put the I put the pin at the bottom. Show off yep. for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, James. Um. Is why why are you still doing this? Um. Is it is it for fun for inspiration is part of could part of it be like a pathology like you just can't let go is it um it's who you are like have you thought about why you do it why why because all this, of that because uh, you're not just going out for a run you're going to set the world record right right the the, the american record yeah the but, American, sorry american record but uh yeah i think I, I think it's all of that i just don't feel like like it's time to just set back you know i thought you know two months ago I was like, you know what? I'm 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 chilling back with lifting heavy weights because getting up in the morning and getting my kids ready and stuff was was getting hard. Like, oh man, like all I did was just do 20 pull-ups and I feel sore. You know, but the other day I was like, let me work up to a heavy single. And it only took me four lifts to get up to four or five power clean. <clears throat> and is that the most you had done in months and months because you're you're prepping in for track? Months. Right. Right. So that just lets me know. And, and and I like to push myself psychologically like that. Like, okay, I could take two months off and still come in at any time and power clean four or five. Like it's nothing. Hey, uh, RB, Sevon, there's an Aaron Thigpen that coaches in Dublin near you. I think it's the same guy. Dude, you know what's crazy? If if I was even like remotely prepared, I'd have brought that dude on and surprised James with him. <laughs> Got a little shit talking going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, when, when on, on Sunday, I, I, for, from kindergarten to my senior year in high school, I could actually all through college, I couldn't, I hated Sundays. And the reason why I hated Sundays is because I could never get settled from the second I woke up. I couldn't enjoy the day because I knew tomorrow was school. Oh, I I got you. I got you. Yeah. And and so what's interesting is, and then, uh, yesterday I heard, um, Mal on, um, or this morning I heard Mal on Mal O'Brien on Lauren Khalil's podcast say sure. um, she could never, basically I'm, I'm uh, around the 1250 mark or something. She basically says something like I can, I, I basically, I couldn't keep doing this cause I didn't know how to turn it off. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's my interpretation of what she's saying. Mm-hmm. It, do you ever turn it off? Like, are you ever, um, are you ever just at peace or is it always like I got, I have one more thing I have to do. Um, for me, man, becoming a dad is like, mm. I think I, I think that's why I still go because I always want my kids to know that you are in control of 
what you want to do. And if you have a passion for something, still go for it. You know, don't 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 allow the sport or someone tell you when it's when it's time to to stop. And that's for anybody, you know, and, and, and I think that's why I connect with being a coach of, of, of CrossFit athletes and, and understand the methodology of, of CrossFit is because you could be 60, 70 years old and still compete in CrossFit. Well, I plan on being 60, 70, 70 years old, power cleaning four or five. Right. So for you, it's the opposite. For you, it's like, hey, you could sit, you, you have the discipline that even if you don't want to, you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. you, you're not going to let, um, so it's it's the opposite. It's not that you can't turn it off. It's that you could see yourself complacent and you won't tolerate it. Right. Right. Yeah, that's wild. Is your diet crazy, James? Is it is it crazy strict? No. No, how are you so lean? Oreos. Just Oreos, yeah. <laughs> I've been, I've been trying that. <laughs> Oreos. I mean, I'm trying to, the, I'm, I'm trying to clean it up because I'm getting older. But the frustrating thing is, man, is that when I that you that body right is that what your body looks like now? That body's yeah. gonna set the world record, is the American record. Yeah. If I showed you some other guy look like that, and I go, hey, that guy's gonna win the 60 meter American, would you be like, no, he's not? <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's not a track and field. If that's not. That's not a track and field body, is it? No. No, okay. No. Mm. I know we're not supposed to talk about body, but Jesus, crime me. <laughs> okay, sorry. What were you going to say? Uh, you you are trying to clean it up as you get older? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm trying, but it's 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 tough, man, because when I eat healthy, I'm hungry like 10 minutes later. Right. And I get these headaches. And so and so whenever when, whenever I fast, or anything or 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 whenever i try to do uh um stay away from sugar it's like i get these headaches and i get hungry faster <coughs> and and it's like healthy food doesn't fill me up but i know if i go in there and get a sleeve of oreos mm -hmm. it'll take the headache away and then i'm good so i don't know if that's the, that that's just the years of consuming so much sugar yeah, or, you're, med you're medicating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. if I don't have coffee. It's like, <clears throat> it's like it's like my body is trying to detox, and I'll get fevers. Like no, no shit. I'll get yeah. fevers. I get headaches. It's, it's Hot wild. Flashes. Hey, will you try? Um, what do you what do you weigh just on a normal good day? Two hundred six. And when you try to break the American record, how much do you want to go in under two hundred or anything? Do you have any weight? Yeah. Go, you do. I'm trying to get down to one ninety five. Wow. Okay. And and that will be um that'll help you that's that'll be critical in setting the record. Right. Absolutely. Cause I for uh Olympic weightlifting, I compete at 89. At 89 kg. So that's that's around 196, 198. Yeah, one 196. And is that is that I'm I'm thinking um that, that weight loss is most important for the start. Because once you get going, you're going. But you're going, but right. But it, um, so you you keep your strength off the blocks at 189, but um, you're lighter, so more thrust for a smaller body. Correct. Damn, look at me. I'm like I'm like. Correct. I'm like a fucking college coach. Crazy. Um, when you when you uh, you were on the show before, and I know you had a lot of wild circumstances around uh, your stint with um fucking with the Chicago bears. Mm -hmm. When you see the, and, and so let me say a couple things, a uh, couple things around that. Um, some, there was a question asked yesterday on a CrossFit show. It was on, um, it was on, uh, Pedro's, uh, around the whiteboard. And he asked people a bunch of questions and he said, Hey, should there be any concern about, um, all these young athletes taking time off from CrossFit? And one of the answers the guy gave was, no, shitloads of young athletes take time off. We've just never had young athletes in this sport. Basically, it's matured to a point to where we, we're, we're grabbing people at their peak potential. So it's, it's not that it's unheard of. It's just that we're now having so many young athletes. From the outside, you see these people, you know, you see these people like Mal who have so much potential or Haley who has so much potential, and then they take time off it's so easy for me to be like, because I don't have, I'm not in their spot. I haven't put in the work. It, I mean, and they all clearly put in hard work. I'm like, dude, you're going to hate yourself when you're older. You know what I mean? You're going to be like, fuck, 
Oh man, I should have done that. Do you have any, do you have any thoughts on that? Being being that you're uh, forty and any like looking back and been like, man, I wish someone would have said this to me or like the difference man. between suck it up, Buttercup, and um and and hey, you know, do what you're supposed to do. You know, take care of yourself. I I you know um how how I was with when I was coaching Mao, how mm -hmm. I was with her, I wish I had that person when I was coming up. Someone, okay. Okay. Someone who could understand <clears throat> what I was going through because what I was going through, it was a cry out for help. Mm -hmm. Instead, I had the people no, you need to suck it up. No, you know, you, this money is going to take care of this. This money is going to get your mom this. This money is going, you know, this and that. You, you, you just got to go, 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 go. And when you're saying that to 16, 17, 18-year-old kid, yeah. they're going to soak that in and say, oh, oh, okay. Knowing that they are screaming on the inside. So when I see a lot of these athletes saying, you know, that, that are young and they saying they want to take time off, me being in that position now, I'm like, all right, who are their coach? What are they saying to them? Right. Are they are, are they willing to sit down with them to understand? What do you wish someone would have said to you? Hey, I hear you. I see you. This is, hey, let's go to, to this person. Let's talk to them. I'll come with you. Hey, it, it's okay. So, so, so just like a coach, like if you needed someone to teach um, one of your athletes running, you might take them to a running coach. Or if you need nutrition, you might take them to a nutrition co coach. You would take them to fix this problem, this short, this shortcoming. A parent. A parent. A parent. Yeah. If I'm coaching a young athlete, I'm not just <laughs> a coach. But yeah. in a way, I'm a parent because you would be there for your kids. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you, and, and you weren't there for, and your parents weren't there for you. My mom was, but my mom was working seven to 11. Right. So, right. so, 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 so I had my two older brothers, but then my two older brothers wanted to do their, their own thing. Right. So my two older brothers just made sure that I stayed in football. Right. While they were out running the streets. Right. Right. So, so, so it's like, I look back on it, it's like, dang, you know, not saying that I wanted to run the streets, but how come I needed to be on this straight narrow path and right. go towards this goal while y'all guys were out there having fun and this and that? Right. So while mom is working seven to 11, brothers are making sure that I'm staying straight and I got a football in my hand, but they're doing whatever they want. And it's like, well, when do I get to take a, a breath? Yeah. Like, hey, I'm over here, I'm struggling. Yeah. But you just want me to keep this ball in my hand. Yeah. Right. So so who can I cry out to and let them know that, yo, I love football or I love CrossFit, but this is what I'm struggling with. Oh, uh, you'll get, you know, it's, it, it comes with the territory. You'll get past it. No. Listen to what this child is saying. If this child is saying they can't turn it off, understand why they can't turn it off. Don't just say, oh, you know, it comes with the territory. You're, you're good. You know, her, her greatest deal with that. Her, her greatest strength became her Achilles heel. The fact that she's so determined and focused and can't turn it off. Right. Is that, is that, and that way it sounds like, you know, and, and, and maybe it was also with you. You let me, let me propose this for you, James. You had so many people around you who believed in you. Maybe they over believed in you because your brothers always believed in you. Right. Like you were the one, you were the golden child. And so then, they over believe in you and, or, and, and the, it, the, it turns into just too much pressure. It turns into too much pressure. You feel trapped. Right. Yeah. Right. Under, you, you have to make someone understand why they are the one. Why they shouldn't, why they shouldn't do this. It shouldn't just be about the end goal. The end goal is to, you know, win the CrossFit games or, or get to the NFL. It shouldn't just, it shouldn't be there because getting, getting to that goal, there are, you know, bumps in the roads and, and all this and that. And, you know, you got to help, you got to help that person navigate that in life. You got to help your child that you see every day navigate in life. That's no different because even though, even though they they have a mom and dad, but 
they're spending their most critical hours with you because they're doing something that they love. Right. So in a sense, <clears throat> in a sense, you're taking the place of mom and dad for, you know, six to eight hours in that day of training. So even though, you know, I was coaching Mal, building her up, most of those hours was, hey, what are you feeling? How are you feeling? Mm. Hey, we could talk. Hey, we, we ain't got to work out. You did do that. All the time. Um, it, it's funny because I never expressed this as a child, but on Sunday nights when I would go to bed, I would sleep horribly. And if school started at eight, I would get up at five. And then I would get all dressed and shit, and then I'd get all anxious, and then I'd go to school an hour early, and it'd be freezing cold on Monday, you know, Monday morning when I get there. And I, but I would sit there an hour early. I wasn't even like a good student or anything, but I, but, but I just couldn't turn it off. And when you, when you were saying that, when I was listening to her talk uh, on the Lauren Khalil interview in, in this segment, so good. She, it basically sounds like she wasn't going to be able to turn it off until she won the CrossFit Games. Like I couldn't turn it off just until Monday, until school started. But it was like she was never going to be able to settle down until the games. And then if she won, it was going to probably th – that issue was going to come back the next day. Right. Because the year starts all over again. Like right. she never found a spot to turn it off. Right. And that's a beautiful beast. That's, that's Right, right. That's right. the beast about her. And, and, but as a coach, you have, to want, you have to want to understand that beast. You have to know how to feed that beast. Mm. And how to take that the, the, the food bowl away from that beast yeah. and let that beast know it's okay. You're going to eat again. You you have it. You you natural. This is you. You know, that's why that that's why it's like even like oh oh I'm you're not gonna you're not gonna lose it. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. Right. But you have to genuinely <clears throat> wholeheartedly in your heart, you have to be that person to make them understand why because then at the end of the day for you you have to be okay with it right because you have this type of athlete yes you know that this athlete can go far and by that athlete going far it may you know open up a door for you but it's not about you you have to be okay to be like you know what i need to pull this athlete back a bit and allow it to be okay because I know training this athlete is fun because all they want to do is grind. All you have to do is just tell them what to do and they're going to do it. But their well-being comes first. Because we've seen throughout history, the best performers can perform, but then some of them can check out. And sometimes them checking out is because nobody was willing to understand what they were feeling. Nobody was willing to be able to take the time out to listen to them. You know, being able, be, being able to put on a front for people, that's the worst feeling in the world when you just got to smile and act like everything is okay, especially in this time. But when you got to smile and, 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 and put on a front and put on a fake and act like everything is okay. But then once you leave, it's like you, you go, it's like everything just turns black, dark. And then you right back in that hole and then, and then it's sunshine again. And then you're like, Hey, how you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good, but you're hurting inside. But nobody, no, nobody wants to understand that. An another interesting thing. When you mentioned earlier, you were a dad when, uh, and I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth, but I'm guessing your happiest moments in your life are when James Townsend just completely disappears and you're looking at your kids. Facts. And you're like just at a hundred percent give mode. Facts. Those pe so those people at that age, you know, these those people being those 19 and 20 year old athletes. And, and I don't I say this with no negative uh connotation or intonation. All they're doing is thinking about themselves. And that's where that's a that's a really tough place to be. That's like where misery is because as and human that's beings, the most delicate age. Yeah, right, 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 because, right. Not only are you always thinking about yourself, but you have no shield. You're so vulnerable. And so right. if you have, if you can, like you and I, we can just like we, everything can be going horrible, and we could be like, okay, we're taking our kids to whatever 
practice and all of a sudden we're happy as fucking clams. we're driving the car looking at them in the rear view mirror seeing their smile and like we just die we, we're dead we're right. just like pure and give mode right let me get your bag for you yep. let me wipe your face i mean you're just because, like pull because, pure because service because what, what you just said it's not about what people say or think about us when yeah. we come home and we see those three little bodies looking at us happy yeah that's our world yeah <laughs> it's like it, it's like why am i letting what other people say and everything bother me or why am I letting this job stress me out? When I come home, I come home to my wife and my kids and I see them. I'm like, yo, did, did I really just let this bother me when, when, when this yeah. right here is my world and they bring me joy. Right. Cut someone cutting you off. Doesn't matter when you have three kids anymore. You're like, it's cool. Go on in. You're just like, chill <laughs> all of a sudden. Well, before when you were a kid, you'd follow them home. Right. Right. And, yeah. and when I say, 18, 19, 20 is the delicate age. We always had, we, we all had this feeling. When we turned 18, you can't tell me shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm an adult now. <laughs> you know, I'm an adult now. I could do this. I could do that. I don't need to listen to you anymore. You know, but it's like, if you, if you are not still guiding that 18, 19, 20 year old, they're going to go off the deep end at some point, And then they're going to come back home and say, mom, dad, I should have listened. Hey, do you think that's why so many um, athletes um, give their, give their, I don't know what the word is. You're going to have to help me with it. Give their glory to God or their, their, their moment to God. Like they, they're always thanking God because that, that way it's not about them. It, 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 and, and so the pressure's relieved. It's all about what God wants. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for God. Do you think that that's the, that that's the powerful mechanism in that? Um, this may be controversial, but to me, that's a cop out. Uh huh. Okay. Um, it, it, I, I see that too. I see that too. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, by the way, real quick, I saw that um, someone gave five dollars, and I can't find their comment. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Well, uh, hold that thought. Real. Oh, um, if Mal asked you to take her back for a comeback, would you? Oh, oh hold on. Don't, let's. We'll come back to that in a second. Thank you. Great question, Marco uh, Calderon. A uh, butter season is over, California James. <laughs> Butters. I don't. I don't even know what that means. He's talking about Timberlands. Timberland. Uh, oh <laughs> shit! He's making fun of your shoes. <laughs> Jesus, me. Be nice to the guests for crying out loud. This isn't the fashion show. Okay, tell me. he know he he knows New Yorkers. That's all we wear is, is Timberlands. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So James is stuck in the nineties. Whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So okay. So so you think it might be a, a cop out? Yeah, and, and I say that is because. Um, and you say that as a man of God, you you're yeah. you're you are a man of crazy faith. Yes, and and my faith changed to superficial to humility and obedience do, oh, okay i, I want to yeah. talk about that too do you think you do you think do you think it has to take that path like fake it till you make it no no okay it doesn't have to but we are fed that because we all are getting the word wrong we all are getting we we all we we all are being taught to be hearers of the word and not doers of the word. Oh, oh, oh. You get what I'm saying? Anybody could say, yo, I want to thank God and this and that, but what are you really thanking them for? Because you should thank them for him telling you what to do and you obeying it. Right. When you That's your actions speak louder than words. Are, are you just thanking God or are you walking... Are you being um, a role model of the way God wants human beings to behave? There it is. It's okay. not. It's, it's, it, it, no, nobody is perfect. We we all going to fall short. However, it's making the effort to do His will, to 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 operate in righteousness and justice, to to <laughs> to be obedient. Faith is an action. You say you love me, but I need to see it. You say you have faith, but I need to see it. How can how can I teach my kids about God if they're not seeing it? through me these are all my children out here and i see the way you treat them you say you love me but you treat my other my other children like ass exactly mm. i know i struggle with that one sometimes because it's so fun picking on people <laughs> yeah. i'm just joking i'm just joking i wasn't really picking on well, okay a little bit away. um uh would you um um would you take this uh, if, if mal wanted to come back would you would you do you have any first before i go there do you have any um athletes right now that you're coaching for crossfit three three of them you do 
and these are aspiring uh, games athletes. 19 years old. One, one is 17 female, and then two of them are 19 years old. And that is at your gym in uh, – your gym is in Los Angeles? Des Moines. Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines sorry, sorry. Um, and uh, in, the name of your gym is what? Bra Brave? The Brave One Gym. The Brave One Gym. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, I thought you were, like, pulling back from that. You you can't? You just – you can't stop coaching? Like uh, athlete, CrossFit athletes? Like, they just keep coming to yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, I love um, – well – I didn't think you were pulling back from coaching. I just thought you were pulling back from like aspiring games athletes. I, I, I just from rumors I, I've heard. No, I, no. I fact. thought about that. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I really did. I thought about that because of how the whole mouth situation went down. Like, um, it was like in in twenty twenty one, and I'm being honest. Yeah, it's like in twenty twenty one. Holy um, shit! This chick is seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. And and she came into the gym because she's a huge fan of Mal, and she wants to follow in her footsteps. Oh my so, God! Look at her face. She looks like she's twelve. So, um, twenty twenty one. Yeah, twenty twenty one. It was like everybody had no problem saying hi, speaking <coughs> with me, talking with me, high five, and wanting to have interviews. And that twenty twenty two comes around. Everybody act like I'm a ghost. <laughs> so, and I'm an observant person. So when I saw that, I was like, I got it. I was like, I got it. So from there on, my faith in the community and my faith in CrossFit left. But James, isn't that okay? Isn't it okay to, um, I'm not saying you'd be a dick to someone, but I'm like, isn't it okay? like if, if Michael Jordan didn't dunk balls, like I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care about him. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like these athletes, they'll say stuff like I'm, they'll say, people will say stuff like this, right? You hear this. I'm more than just a CrossFit games athlete. And it's like, yeah, good. Roll with that for yourself. Find some shit in yourself. But to me, I like you because you're fucking the world's fastest at doing thrusters. Isn't that okay? Isn't that what we... Uh, and, and then there's some athletes, you know, who aren't the best in the world, who we have like still an attraction to. But isn't that OK if when I'm not saying people be rude to you, but if you're not coaching the best athlete or if you're not the best athlete or if you don't have the like if you have the nicest car, maybe people are going to be nicer to you. Is there is there is that bad? That's very bad because that's it is superficial. that's superficial because because you were Savon right before you became Savon, the person now on podcast. Right, right. You you were a person before you came onto a scene, right? But but before let's say you so, got into the limelight, right? But know? let's say someone, let's say um uh, some guy, let's like like let's say my, my sponsors for instance, they have something to sell and they're looking for a platform to sell it on, right? Mm -hmm. If I didn't have this platform, as superficial as it is, we wouldn't have a relationship. That's and, different. But don't I have to be? It is different. Don't that's I? Have, different. Okay. Yeah, that's different from being being the athlete. And then and then and then coming over into the media side, okay. You know, different 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 tier of fans. Okay. Right, right. I could listen to you all day, and then then if I see this athlete out there, but this athlete is clearly not having fun. It looks forced, and 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 they're just screaming that 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 they want to be heard, or 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 they just need time off. Hey, let's let them. Let's let that person have have that time off because we have to remember they are human. Before, but before they came into this limelight, they were, you know, regular people. They were going to school, right? You know, hanging out with friends, doing all this and that. They just happened to be <coughs> good at the sport that they came into uh, to participate in, and then now they're in the limelight, right? Oh, let, uh, let me let me throw one more thing out there. I'm going to take it back a couple steps. Sports are a what have you done for me lately All phenomenon, time. right? All time. Short so term. like, yeah, short term, yeah. yeah. And so like, um, like, um, we can use Mal and Rich Froney as example. I don't think she ever. I think she was too young to ever see Rich compete. She didn't even know who Rich is. I mean, I mean, outside of just what the community tells her, right? Right. Um. So, do you have a problem with that? No. No. Okay. So there's a so what you're saying is there's a fine line there. You're saying 
you understand that um, maybe someone might not want to do an interview with you, but then to snub you or not say hi to you or not come over and still treat you like who you are. You know what I mean? Like if you don't have, if you have the number one athlete, everyone's going to want to interview the coach and the athlete. And then if you're not coaching anyone, they might not want you to come over. You don't have an issue with that. Right. No, no, I don't, I don't have an issue with that. But it's but like, it's but, but it's like, you know, we, it's not, it's not about the interview. It's not about getting a sponsor, this and that. It's, it, it's the principle of it. Like, oh, Hey, Savon, I, I come up to you and we we were always talking in 2021. Nice right. and everything, you know, we were chilling. Right. 2022, I see you, we lock eyes, but I just turn the other way and I don't say nothing to you. The whole right. weekend, I don't say nothing right. to you. Right. You're right. going to feel some type of way, like, yo. Yeah. That right. was fake? Right. 2021, that was fake? You, yeah, you, you only no want to talk to me when, when I have a certain status or or, or, or have someone that's, that's doing good in the sport? Yeah. Maybe that's me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm built different. No, no, no. I, the, no. It, it's an interesting fine. It's an interesting fine line for me, because on one hand, I, I, I don't, I, like, I want people to get the most out of our my relationship with them, and I want people to use me in a way that's like valuable for them. Um, but you're right. Like, I don't. If you're a good person, be a good person. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Look, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I never pressure anyone to bring yeah. me on their podcast. None of that. that that's not right. what I'm saying. But right. No. 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 And I. No. No. And yeah. I wasn't taking it that way at all. I know yeah. we're talking just abstractly. I know right. we're talking. I don't take right. any of it personal. No. Right. Um. Uh. If, if and and that's a tough th- and that's probably a tough thing for um athletes to also understand that fine line. You you know, famous people will be like, um, um, uh, I don't even know who my real friends are anymore. Because people will just like you for being famous. But also it's like, you know, if you're the first kid at high school who gets a car, everyone's going to want to be your friend. Mm-hmm. And you kind and, and it, I, I I just find it hard as I but get what older. What if that car is wrecked? What, yeah, what yeah. Then, right, right. Well, then then you'll see the, the next guy who gets a car, if he's cool, he'll be like, yo, don't worry. I'll come over to your house and pick you up and I'll drive you to school now. But if they're just a piece of shit and they were just using you for your car, you're out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, w- w- so, so you have three athletes now. How old are they? How old are they? Did you say again? Uh, the female is seventeen. She's out of my gym, and the the two they are remote. They're nineteen. And um, and and what about if Mal wanted to come back? In a heartbeat. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Like, let's uh, get some. I'm 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 being honest. I don't, yeah. I don't. I think I'm still recovering from it. The 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 the. the the feeling of it, of, of how it all went down, you know, and, <clears throat> and, and us not having communication and, and me always thinking about, you know, the, 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 the good days, the good talks, the laughs, the, the, yeah. the, the mannerisms that we had, the handshakes, you know, that just, just all of that for it to turn into, I feel as if I don't want to promote this athlete because if I do and they do well, the same thing is going to happen. I'm just going to get dumped to the side. No shit. You got scarred like that a little bit. Scarred. Hey, did, did you, when, when Mal in, in this last year, what she's gone through, uh, has that been emotional for you? Like a, like a father, like you, you ever feel like, uh, hundred percent, like you want, 100%. like you were going to cry, like it was your own daughter and like you were going to, did you cry at all about it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 100% you see, because you seen he, her hurting and you cried a little. Because one hundred percent, because I know how much she loves it. I know how much she loves it, and 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 I know I feel as if, and I could be wrong, but I feel as if one hundred percent of my heart, I know, the love outside of CrossFit wasn't being pushed to her. Mm. Explain that. I don't. I'm not following. To understand what is she is feeling, to try, oh, to, right, right. To try to get to 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 really allow it to come from your heart instead of make her just some athlete and 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 just say, hey, you know, she just she just here, she just an athlete or, or whatever, you know, just 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 be that athlete. That's who you are. You you're not that person. In in all in, um not like biblically speaking you're, what you're saying is truth like pe- like it is just another human being but on a um on a more practical level we didn't get to know her the community didn't get to know her right 
Right. She, she shoots up to 700,000 Instagram followers and you just, there was no, and she was so young, right? There's, there's athletes out and there's young athletes coming up now that we just don't know. Fuck. They don't know themselves, but there's, it's, it's, but there's other people like, say like someone like you or um, Froning or um, there's who we've seen for so long and they're multifaceted. You can't just be like, Oh, I love James Townsend or I hate James Townsend. It's like, wow, that they're multifaceted. We connect with you on all these different levels with right. her. Um, and, and more and more with these girls that and Mal's not one of them. I'm not accusing Mal being one of them at all, but there's these girls who are just pre presenting themselves as one dimension. I have one now. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, my, you know my, what I, but yeah, you know what I mean yeah. by one dimension? I mean, just mean just the if, if like all you present to yourself is to the world, we, we never hear you talk with nothing. It's just shots of you looking over at your butt. Then that's the world's good. The world's going to engage with you like that. Right. Now, I'm not defending the world right. doing that. We have to all be right. have the God yeah. conscious and treat them. But like, dude, motherfucker, every everybody, shot I see of you, you're looking over your ass <laughs> like this. And it's everybody like, ain't a believer in God. So everybody yeah, so, is not going to have that same. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's hard. It's hard to be there's a symbiotic relationship that needs to occur if you want you have to be able to manage the media too and yes. and, 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 a, and a certain level of intimacy and vulnerability and giving yourself right yeah but i i, I also like <clears throat> like with my athletes now it sucks that i have to really really stress to them hey if you do well in this sport promise me you're not going to say yes to everything. Promise me you're not going to let this change you. Promise me you, you you're still going to do everything through faith. You're still going to everything. Um, you're still going to do everything through belief. You're still going to do everything through through uh, hard work, and you're still going to be you. Don't let it change you. Because this is a sport. They do have money in the sport. Don't let money change you. You know, and, so, and, so and you guide and, them spiritually and intellectually too, is what you're saying. Yeah, and and, and I feel as if I'm emph I'm emphasizing that more early on because mm -hmm. one, I know I can get them there. We can work good together, and and, and all I and, and I told you this last time, and all I ask for them is to just be 100 honest, be 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 stay in contact with me at all times, and come in here and work. You 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 do those three things, you're gonna hit your goals. But one goal at a time, one stage at a time. Now we got the open, the open starts today. That's what we're focusing on. We're not we're not worrying about making it to the games. One thing at a time. The goal is the games. But we have a journey to get there. Let's focus on that. Because when you could do that, everything else in your life will follow, fall in line. Because then when you're not in the gym. And you're going for something, you could focus on one thing at a time. It doesn't have to be about, oh, you know, I want to win this workout because I want, I need money, or or this person is um this company wants to sign me, I'm gonna get this money. When you start focusing on that, you're changing a little bit. Uh your your goals are changing. Now you're allowing the business to come in. You're drifting and, from your faith you're you're drifting from you right because we because if that's why that's why i find it okay for an athlete not to really put themselves out there like that oh to, to not to okay well then but okay and, and i respect that but then there will there will be a consequence be time, there's not in right. a bad way but then people will have make their own impression of you let, let me right. give you an example hiller just made a video of Haley adams he hung yeah. out with he yeah he hung out with her for two days it's oh, a okay. crazy intimate video, crazy intimate. Oh, and, that, that, and everyone's that talking about it. Was driving in, in in her Porsche or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta check that out. Okay. <clears throat> and it changed. It changed everyone's perception. It tilted it a little bit, right? It showed a whole, maybe not changed. It showed us a whole nother facet. It's like someone took a cube and turned it of not only Hiller but of uh um of Haley Adams. Like all of a sudden, we're like, oh shit, we're thinking of these guys differently. And the video, I don't know, it, last time, look, 110,000 views in, in two days, oh, wow. almost 700 comments. And every everyone's like, holy shit. And, and it's not your typical CrossFit video. There's no drone shots. There's no, like, you know, slow motion shit. It's just like, like them having heart to hearts, her and Hiller having heart to hearts one after another. Good for and, her. um, good for her.
Good yeah. Good yeah, I'm st- yeah, I'm stoked for Is that, is that uh, uh, that's Haley? And Josh, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, so okay. she's over there with them in, uh, in, in I think, in California. L.A. With, yeah, yeah. You know them? Yeah, yeah. I, I know her from, from her being at regionals. Yeah, they seem like really cool down-to-earth people. They seem very familial, like uh, mom and dad material. Wow, that's a, good for her, man. I'm, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad she's coming back. I'm glad she's starting to break down those those walls that that were keeping her from her being her. So that's that's dope. And and, and shout out to Hiller. That's 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 so good, man. And and so on one hand, I see what you're saying to like maybe stay protected, but then you're going to have to cope with the fact that people are going to just come up with their own shit. Yeah. No. You're right. Right. But 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 you can you can. <laughs> You can prepare your kids for that. Hey, this is what they're gonna say. This is what they, you know, they're gonna do. Hey, people are gonna make up stuff about you regardless, whether if you're out there or not. Like Tia hurt her wrist, right, from right. repetitive baby picking up, and like yeah. you can look it up on the internet, and it's like, mommy a thumb. yeah, mommy thumb, mommy yeah, mommy thumb, yeah. But like every third <laughs> comment, someone's like, oh, she's already making excuses. It's like motherfucker. Like, can no one say like, That's- like. That's the way it that, that's the way it is. But but you gotta be able to to not answer, not ask why it comes with the territory. Right, right. Accept it. You you you're not, you, yeah, if you argue with that, you're arguing with reality and you're gonna be miserable. Right. It's a never ending argument that you're you're not gonna win. Basically what James is saying is HWPO didn't give a fuck about Mal outside of how fast she could exercise. I don't think I don't think he's saying that. <laughs> uh oh, w- w- let's uh, let's pivot to Tia for a second. Um mm-hmm. uh g- 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 where do you put her? I-, I put her as come back, win the games, the greatest ever. She's on her own tier. Like <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, there's like no there's not even a there's not like oh her and Matt are the greatest or her right. and Rich. It's just like she's now left right. the room. You know, you know, I'm a, I'm a um when 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 Mal you know, rightfully so, made her 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 decision to to go with the guy. Right? Uh, Shane reached out to me that day. Mm. He didn't have to. Uh, Tia, Tia's husband. He didn't. Yeah, he reached mm. out, to me, and he didn't have to, and say, "Hey, buddy, we're in your corner. I know how you feel. Let me know if you need anything. Anytime you're in Nashville, please come by." Oh, cool. Forever, forever grateful to him for that. Yeah. Yeah. It it is interesting when I I've heard Mal now in two interviews say that her agent reached out. No, no. I think Matt's agent, someone from HWPO reached out to Mal's agent. I had never heard that before. Me neither. To have yeah, and, and now I've heard it twice this week that basically someone reached out to Mal from that camp. Is that it, it felt a little uh inappropriate? Like, would you would you ever reach out to someone else's athlete or ask your your wife or your agent or someone? Hey, would you call their agent and invite them over to my camp? No. Yes, it's a it's a little. No. It's a little unsettling. No. But but I I don't know what the I don't know what the etiquette is, but it seems a, a little. I mean, that maybe is, maybe I'm naive. Maybe I'm just. I mean, a I mean, it's in, the in name of the game. game. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the name of the game, but you know, there's there's morals and values that that go with it. So if you're gonna do business that way then you got to you got to take what's going to come with it. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. I I I, <laughs> I do know. Um uh huge pivot here. Mm-hmm. Huge pivot. Now, I don't know shit about straps. I've never used straps in my life. I see you using straps in a snatch lift. It's a uh, number 3 down in the links, Caleb. Um, is there danger here? of you not being able to get the straps off in time or the lift going bad and that thing being attached to you? No. How is that possible? Like, I see how quickly you get the snatch, the strap off. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this looks dangerous as fuck. Like you're tying yourself to 300 pounds and throwing it over your head. Like what if it goes behind your head? Then what happens? You just let it go. You open up your hands and you let it, let it fall out and wrap and, and it will every time. There's no chance of it like being cinched up so tight. It doesn't come off and just yank your arm back. Nope. Because with with when you're using straps, you're not supposed to you don't hook grip with it. Okay. The straps, the the the, the straps takes the place of hook grip. Right? So 
So okay. You go you you go natural grip. Now 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 I do both because for me it's, <coughs> it's for it's I used to I used to always do my lift no grip. Yeah. You know because I like the feeling of the knurling. Right until Max showed me how to work with the um, with the straps, then I was like, oh okay because we because sometimes. You know, when 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 I'm doing snatch, sometimes on my on, on my left hand, my left thumb, because I jammed it so much, it doesn't stay around fully. Oh, interesting. Like it's damaged. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From football, right. So, so 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 if you see in the video on the left side, I have to hook grip it. But on my right side, I'm I'm natural. Uh, and and look, so my pool boy saying straps with the clean, however, is a big no no. That's because you have to go like this, this position. Huge no no. And, and why is that? Just the, you need you need flexibility, and it takes away the range of motion, or it could it, yeah, it could it, it it could break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know straps, so you it's know? hard for me yeah. to picture it. Yeah. This guy gets pinned under the clean, and it lands right. on top. Of his you wrist. see that? Yeah. Right. Oh, and, and that, he oh, and he had straps done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Fine. Thanks, yeah. CTP. Yeah. Oh, he found it for you. He oh. pulled. He commented about it, so I went and searched. Oh. For yeah, yeah, that's 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 a huge no no, and and they need to stop using that in 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 college. They teach that in college. Oh, straps on the clean, on the cleans from the hang, because 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 at Iowa we did it at Iowa. We don't know no better, and we're yeah. we're catching it like this, <laughs> elbows down. Iowa oh, strength yeah. coaches need some need some help. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hey, you know, they uh, had a, they had a guy. Uh, uh, he went um, top five. I want to say like, almost like three or four years ago. Jason Jason Work. He was hang power cleaning. What, I think four fifty five for five. Oh my easy. god! <laughs> Lineman, easy. Okay. But he had straps on. Man, wow. Um, uh, hey, um, so when you when since you do compete, uh, um. In Olympic uh, weightlifting uh, meets, I'm assuming you can't use the strap when you go, though, when you when you compete. And does, so, does that does that mess with you at all? Nope. Nope. Not at all. I'm a, I'm I'm all about being comfortable and and, and feeling. So I'm, I'm I'm weird with it. <laughs> I'm You're weird with it. If if yeah. there's a good bar out there and that knurling <laughs> is is stacked and, and heavy, oh man, it's it, it's all go all day. Wow, look at this compliment. Holy shit. Graciano Ruby. <laughs> Ten years ago, That's the I, used to, I used to watch James and dream about being able to perform Olympic lifts like him. Crazy. Graciano, he cool, man. So strong, man. Uh, Sean Sullivan, uh, USA Olympic weightlifting does not recommend using grips while doing the full lift with only uh, Ole pulls. USA. To each his own, you know? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I think that's a, a a coaching method to to like beginners. Yeah, I won't I won't put a beginner on. I won't tell a beginner to put straps on and use it. No, you 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 at least got to have a year under your belt. How old are your kids, James? Ten, seven, and three. And the three year olds a boy, and the ten and seven a girl. Yes, and then mm -hmm. I have a twenty one year old. Oh, that's right. I know that too. Okay. Four kids. Um, how is that? How, how are the, how, how are the little kids? How, how, are, how is everything going? What are you doing with them these days? The th they, let's they, start with the three-year-old. Uh, what are you doing with the three-year-old? Yeah. My, my three-year-old, he's, he's in there now watching Blippy. Uh-huh. Um, so he's, he's, uh, I think, Hey, I think Blippy's a CrossFitter. I see him like <laughs> doing double unders and shit. You see that? Really? Yeah. He's for sure a CrossFitter for wow. sure. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Sometimes I walk by the TV and I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. You definitely are in the CrossFit. You were doing CrossFit. Yeah. You yeah, take he, him to work with you? Does he get to hang at work like the girls did? No, no, no. We got a full time nanny. Um, he stays at home. Um, when I bring him into the gym, you know, he he goes right to the barbell. He remembers, you know, he grabs his toy barbell, you know, and and grabs the weights and he'll put the the uh, one and a half um, kgs on and do a deadlift. He'll drop them off. He'll bring the bar around his back and he'll go walk to the squat rack, uh -huh. put it on, stand up, step back and do a squat. And so he, 
he's remembering. He's, yeah, he knows. That's all I need to see is like good. Yeah. You you remember. Are you right? are you are you harder on him than the girls or saw it could go both ways. He's he's the youngest, so sometimes they have it the easiest, mm -hmm. but also he's the boy. How how's your parenting with him? Uh I think I'm the the, the softest with him because he's the boy. Uh he could play a little bit more sports. Mm-hmm. And so, and I'm taking my time with that. So, and the reason why I'm taking my time with that is because of how, how I was, you know, what, what I was programmed to do. I'm not trying to program them, you know? And, and so it's like, uh, when I want to get him in organized sports, the first organized sports that he's going to get in is gymnastics. Best, best thing to get him in. When he turns 10, then I can introduce him to basketball, football, baseball, you know, because because I, I don't think he needs to be specialized that early. You, yeah. Have you had any of your kids had any any injuries so far? You had any broken bones? Um, no broken bones. Just um, it's, it's it's always the wrist growth plate mm. from 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 gymnastics. <coughs> so uh, my my uh, my ten year old she she's been having a, a problem with that, and so. Uh, one day I went to, to gymnastics just to watch her form to see how she's doing because of that wrist. Her injury came down to form. And the injury started on hitting the, 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 the pummel horse on, on doing her vault. So she's, she's pushing instead of using, instead of engaging her lats and then pushing through her lats. She's just pushing through here. So I, I explained to her, I said, this is why you know, you, you have a sprained wrist or hurting your wrist is because you're not engaging your lats, you know, and, and, and that just takes, of course, the right coaching and, you know, and, and now she's getting to that point where it's like, well, dad, I, I know, I, I know, you know what you talk about. And it's like, I got to explain to her, like, look, your dad was a, and still is a great athlete. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know? what do the coaches say when you, when you um give her advice like that? Uh, they they love it. They don't. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm I'm cool with the owner, and then and then I make sure I uh, I introduce myself to the coaches, but I don't overstep their their boundaries. Um, did, you know? does your does your boy have your like already? Do you see that your boy has your um attributes like like when you look at his body or the way he moves his feet, the way he engages with the world, his motor recruitment pattern? Or is it too soon? Eh, too too soon. It's like my my my, my ten year old. She. She was the one that was like, damn, she got everything of me. You know, she was yeah. walking at seven months and jumping up on a 45 pound plate at 10 months. Like, yeah. And then my other two is just like, they're just normal kids. Well, <laughs> boys are kind of, boys are kind of stupid in the beginning. Right. They don't talk right. so good. Like I would take my set, my seven year old still like, or my, not my nine year old, like a five year old girl talk circles around him. He's like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He's like, See, my, he just my, stares at him. My three-year-old, he's a, what do they call it? Uh, we, we have him in speech therapy. Uh -huh. So I guess his sisters and all of them speak for him. <coughs> oh, right, right. So, right. so it's, it's, it's not that he's smart as hell. If I tell him to go ahead and, and go grab something, get this, get that, he knows. He knows his colors. He knows how to count. But forming the words, speaking it clearly. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit delayed. Let, let me give the whole world a little piece of advice here. You fuckers listen up. If you're out with your kids and someone asks your kid a question like where did you get your bike or what's your name or how old are you shut the fuck up they're not asking you let your fucking hey. kid engage with the world if your kid gets stuck and you get embarrassed that's your fault shut hey. the fuck up and let your kid work through it I fucking yeah. hate that shit I see some kid I'm like dude that's a dope bike when'd you get it how long you been riding the mom's like two years his name's Johnny I'm like dude <laughs> like I like I don't give a f I'm not I'm talking to hey, this kid because hey, I want to engage me, with this Ron, little you're scolding me <laughs> I want to talk <laughs> good good listen up James oh, I want to talk to this fucking three-year-old who rides a BMX bike I never met a three-year-old who rides like shut the fuck I can't um, in the in the beginning, uh, I told my wife that like I'll be like, "Hey, how was school today?" And she'll start telling me stories about the kids. I'm like, "Listen, I, like I don't need. I just want to hear him talk, right? Like, like I like let your bite your hand, and let your homie, let your kid engage with the world. Your job is to make sure the dude doesn't grab him and run off with your kid. That's it.
Right. Right. Let your kid engage. But if you had two sisters, you, I mean, that's the thing, right? They're doing everything yeah. for you. They're everything. wiping your ass. They're bringing everything. you food. They're carrying you downstairs. You're like, you're a, he, he, so he's a prince. Yeah. 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 He's just it, being catered it, to by two queens uh, and he's the little prince. I see it. Oh, man. Yeah. To the okay. T. To the T. Everything. To the T. Everything. Get them up in the morning. They, they make his breakfast. They get him dressed. If you they, go hard on them, will they yell at you? Do they get mad at you? Because my my oh, I, my I get yeah. My my ten year old, she always wants to kiss him. Like she just she'd be like, I I be like, stop kissing him so much. Well, I just love him, and, and like she get all emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you're mean to him? What if you? What's his name? Azariah. Azariah. So if you're like Azariah, I swear, if you knock that cup over one more time off your uh off the table, it's gonna be bad news. And will they be like, Dad, don't talk to him like that? Uh, no, no, okay. They, they, they'll be quiet. Him hit <laughs> drop it and go run to mommy. <laughs> oh yeah, watch this. Yeah, yeah. God, that that throwing phase is crazy, right? When they're like at the dinner table, and they just they're like, "I'm gonna test this shit out and throw something." You're like, <laughs> the first couple times, all my kids went through that phase for about a week. I was like, "That is not good." That's it. You ever have any biters? No, not yet. On your kids' bit, yeah. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, he's if he hasn't bit yet, he's out of that phase. I had a kid who bit for like a one of my kids bit for like maybe a week or two. I was like, oh my god, I do not want to have the kid that bites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a tough. You know, there's always one in the group, right? There's like yeah. that kid at the preschool, and like he's bit every kid there, and they always call you, uh, your yep. kid is bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like I have my I have my seven year old come home, and you know she she'll tell me all the juicy secrets of what goes on with her friends, and she's like, yeah, <clears throat> Johnny the other day he. He got in trouble. He hit the student, uh, the uh, the teacher counselor. He hit her, and th this is a true story. He hit her, bit the principal. <laughs> oh shit! And I'm like, and I'm like, Johnny got in trouble, huh? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, he got in real trouble. I'm like, oh, all right. Um, is James cardio at a level that he could compete at a games level with CrossFitters in his division? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think to be honest, I don't think my body can get it. You don't think your body can take it? I don't think my body can get there. Oh, 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 oh. I, it it would like literally have your... to be it would literally have to be it would have to be like a study done on me as well, but it would literally have to be a two year process of changing of going from type two to type one. So you're a Formula One car. If we take you off road, that shit ain't gonna work. Right. It's just who you are. Right. Right. It could be done. It, it, you, you. When's the last time you did Murph, James? What? Three years ago? And does that, are you just hate life after that? Or are you like, fuck yeah. it? Or you're just, yeah. Like, uh -uh. I'm, I'm, I'm sore for a whole week and a half. Yeah. You know, but it's like, but, but what, that, what is I the last time you went over 20 minutes? Long time. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Long time. <laughs> But it's like it's it's a. Uh, I I don't know I don't know if it has been done, but it can be done. You can go from type two, you know, fast twist to type one. I think I think it's easier to go to type one than it is type one to go to type two. So fast twitch to slow twitch is easier than slow twitch slow to twitch, fast twitch. Fast twitch. How do you even train slow twitch to fast twitch? What. Uh, Power position movements, deadlifts, uh, uh, hang powers from from both the the, the snatch and the, and the clean, hang pulls, uh, dumbbell box jumps, box jumps, broad jumps, um, short sprints. It, with the intention of just trying to make that first explosion. That's it. That's it. And it's all and it's all met metric. So you got to measure it out. You 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 have to see if you're getting faster. Wait, you will get faster, but there's a measurement stick for having a type two. Are you getting four seven fast or are you getting four three fast? That's the difference. And, and that all takes place off that first, like we, we started the show with that first movement off the block, that twitch. It's, it's off the blocks, but what is your 20 to 60? What mm. is your 60 oh. to 100? Okay. <laughs> you know, anybody can get out, but can you sustain it? Mm. You know what I mean? Anybody can have a good start, right? You you can have the best start in the world, 
which 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 they do at the combine. They 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 measure your ten. So 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 my best ten was a one two seven. That's that that's going to project me to to run. So ten meters in one point two seven seconds. Right. Yeah, that's wild. Right. So 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 that's going to project me to run four three five or four three flat. My best ever is a four three flat electronic. Yeah, that's right? crazy. But you could run, you could run that one two seven, but in those next thirty yards, your 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 your, your ten yards could be one seven one eight. You, you know what I mean? That's like yeah, that's yeah. like the are you a V six or a V eight? You can get out fast, but can you sustain it? Right, right, <laughs> right. You know, uh, when when are the um indoor uh. Uh, tra- is, it, is it called nationals indoor na- masters nationals and in, um indoors uh yeah yeah indoor when, uh, what's nationals. the date on that uh march 21st in chicago oh so soon holy shit yeah, yeah. and um have you gone do you, where are you practicing your your um 60s uh in my gym on the on the turf it's too cold out here now anywhere else no mm-hmm. so that's crazy dude so in your gym, you have a sixty meters. You have sixty meters wide open in your gym. Uh, fifty yards. Okay. Fifty yards. Yep. Because and for the sixty, all, all you need to do is just focus on that, the start and the the um the ten meters. That's it. The rest is going to take care of itself. God, you <laughs> you really are an uh, an athlete. Mm-hmm. Uh and um, what's the training going to look like? Is is it ramped up? Is it going to ramp up soon? Is it peaked? Is there any, like, are you going to have yeah, any long yeah, days? Uh, or? I'm going about uh, 75% now, just out of the blocks. I'll, I'll get out and then coast. So so my burst out of the blocks would be 100, 100% effort, but into the, into the 10 to the 20, it'll be like 70. It's just all about me being able to have reaction time. Fast reaction time, flash, um, um, fast explosiveness out of the blocks and making sure my steps, every time when I hit the ground, I'm reacting fast. So Do you have, anyone, week, coach, do you have anyone coaching you? No. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say, sorry, next week? So next week it'll be 80. The week after it'll be 90%. I'll try to, uh, I'll maybe go 95. And then the week of it, it's, it's go time. So you won't ever go a hundred percent until the 21st. Right. Don't want to wow. risk pulling a hamstring groin, right. you know? Yeah. And, um, and w- w- is there anything you do before you go out there? Like, will you drink like three cups of coffee or sniffing salts or is there anything you do like that day? No, no. You'll go out there and will your general adrenaline skyrocket when you put your mm-hmm. feet, feet in the box? Yeah. That's what and I'm you- going off of adrenaline. Yep. And will you feel it? Will you start, do you start vibrating? Yeah, it's in the, it's, in the uh, it's uh, it gets nerve wracking when you when, when you get down there and you get in the blocks. From what yeah. I remember, it's it, yeah, it gets that's that's like any race. You just you just ready, you know. That's like that. That's like a, a a greyhound when you watch them run. They just they they ready until you take that leash off and then it's boom. When's the last time you've been um in a track meet? Uh, oh three. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> God, you have some balls. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and who will go with you? My wife. She's going to uh, live stream it. So, uh, just with on your Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And um, uh, anyone? Um, no, your kids aren't going. No. Mm-mm. Because they'll be a distraction. Or? No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because when you get in a hotel room with kids, they want to jump around, play, and I just need to. <laughs> And no, you'll have game know. face on? You'll be serious? Yeah. As, yeah. 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 Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right. Hey, thanks for coming on. Great talking to you. Of course, man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we you. covered some great ground. I really appreciate your insights on all, everything. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you having me, Savan. You know, yeah. you don't me. So. Thanks, dude. Hey, right. uh, keep keep doing the right thing. Thanks for making beautiful kids uh, for the world. Will do. You too, yeah. man. Yep. Yeah. All right, brother. Take care. James Townsend. Dang. I really enjoyed that. That was cool. I was like, what the fuck am I doing having a guest on? on, Because I'm so wound up for today. 
Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty wound up for today. And then Susan's like, do you want me to move him? I'm like, no. And then last night I was like, I was prepping for him and I was telling my wife how excited I was to see him. As soon as he smiled, I felt like all my stress go away. That's good. That, yeah. That was a good guest to have. He was cool. Yeah, yeah he's easy. As soon as he smiled, I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be easy. This dude's cool as shit. I, fe I felt totally disarmed. Uh, Brandon asked, one of the best guests you've ever had, Sebi. Yeah, thanks. It's fun, right? He's fun. Hey, he seems more, he seems the chillest he's ever been, too. Yeah. He, he was chilling. So he was chilling. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. All right. I'm better. I swear I'm better. Even though I sound like ass, I'm like, I'm 100%. I did a, uh, He's got the silent killer vibe right now. Who said that? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> He's cool looking. He's fun. He, I really, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that. That's gonna, I'm going to probably like call, I enjoyed it so much. I'll probably call my mom and tell her to watch that one. That good. Um, so, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I like looking at him too. There's some guests I like looking at and I enjoyed looking at him. Uh, Augustus Link, um, uh, Sevan, how are the nerves leading to the open today? Thought I'm posting your workout for members only. No, if I, if I, I was thinking about calling, um, like one of the gym owners in town that, that I'm friends with to see if I could go down there and do it in the next couple of days. I'll, and I'll probably just record it and just post it to my Instagram if I do it or in my garage or whatever. I, who knows? I, I don't have any plan, but well, I'm not nervous about the workouts at all. I give two fucks about that. What I'm nervous about is, um, I want to represent born primitive. Well, uh because of the support they've given to the show and um and and so anytime i go live and i have um people who've monetarily invested you know so they born primitive help pay for all the travel and the hotel and all that shit for the athletes and so i want every show i want them to be like you know i want them to be like fuck we were we got one over on the seven podcast <coughs> <clears throat> hey i wanted to show you guys um steve jobs talking on my instagram i want to show you guys this uh yeah the savage one's insane right <clears throat> such a good shoe now listen to not only is it I, I don't want to say it's better than the nano 2 but it really is here's the thing it's different because the soul sean do you agree that you feel more under your foot when you walk i really love the toe box of both shoes like my feet when i take those shoes off i don't even know i'm taking shoes off that's what's so cool about them i'm not like i'm never like oh i got home i gotta take these off ever 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 um you feel a little more than the nano 2 underground it's a thinner sole it's like a this gum sole it's probably like a different material so you have like a little more like awareness of what's under your feet but the amazing thing is the tongue on this thing fucking stays perfectly put and my foot's not only wide, it's like, it's, it's like. It's girthy. Yeah, it's, gir it's, it's girthy too. Like this, like here. This big old fat pad. Yeah, it's not like weird. Like you wouldn't see it and be like, Jesus Christ, he walks on, on rectangles. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you see those pads on the bottom of my foot from walking barefoot? God, I'm a beast. That's it's all. Lord. Yeah. That's just like smooth, like glass. I could probably, I could probably, you could stab that thing with a fucking sword. Um. So, so at ten, so at some time this morning before they go live, we'll go live. Um, before CrossFit Games goes live at uh, to do twenty four point one, we'll go live. And um, I pulled out all the stops. I got Jr. and Hiller and John Young. So we have the the A team. And um, we'll talk, I don't know for how long, at least 20 minutes, and then we'll watch their shit go live for a second. And then we're going to come down, obviously, at some point. And then we're going to pop live again. <coughs> and this time we'll be in um, CrossFit Charlotte when we pop up live, and we'll be doing camera tests and running tests uh, from the gym for Friday night show. And But we'll also watch that dude, Bryson, uh taylor self's training partner do the workout 
so we'll get a kind of a look and a feel of what it's going to be like so we'll we'll and we're going to run that test live so we can all hang out and talk and shoot the shit there too and then and i think i'm not sure who's coming on that show i think it's me and taylor and john young and maybe someone else i can't remember and then and then at 5 p.m pacific standard time that's when the big show is so then on th th so then tonight late night uh 5 p.m pacific standard time then myself john young uh i believe jr someone else grundler oh is maybe grundler's coming on oh grundler's coming on at 10 50 in this morning too shit i don't know anyway you get the thing we have we have we have so many shows <clears throat> and then and then friday night it's on like donkey kong and that's the, that's going to be fucking wild i can't wait to see dallin and taylor go and taylor's looking savage man <whistles> oh my goodness do not count this boy out he is something else he's going to have to get a natty or not <laughs> What is this? Everyone go sign up for the Heat One and be entered to win a thousand cash. Is that really true? Let me see that. I think so. I think I just got a notification on my phone about it. Um, it says thousand dollar prize. Twenty twenty four open begins today. Join okay. event. Picks event picks for a chance to win a thousand dollars. I don't see it on their. Um, I don't see it on their uh, Instagram. Oh, here we go. Hold on. A uh, thousand dollar cash. Pro I gotta just call this dude. Uh, hey, um, Tyler, can you call in so I know how to win? I would love it if I won. Everyone would think it was a home cooking. Why does it have to be Sevy versus Caleb? Why he's he's thirty years younger than me, fifth forty years, fifty years younger than me, thirty, and three times as strong, and four times as tall. I don't think you want me seeing want to see me going up against anybody yeah that's how i feel see me going up against my wife you know what yeah. i mean <laughs> i lose every time oh hold hold on something uh hold on uh something's wrong with the bluetooth of course i'm gonna ask you to call in hold on one second here jesus crimey nice I'm going to I'm going to hire someone here in a minute to um redo my whole studio. I wonder if they're going to be able to fix the phone. Hey, hey dude. How do I win the 1000 bucks? Go in, make your picks. <laughs> if you get the point, if you have the highest points at the end of the weekend, you'll win the $1000 from Go on. Wait, it's it, in the first it, it's just one week. No, it's all three weeks. So okay. you'll accrue points across the three weeks. Okay. If you have the highest amount of points, you'll win thousand dollars. And then there'll be random winners every week. So just for playing, um, you'll win uh you'll win a go wide uh yoga mat. The winner also gets a year free of go wide. Listen, guys, just do it. Just go to the Heat One app and download it. It's so easy. And then, and then you just pick it. You just have to push buttons. I picked Brent Fikowski and Guz Zan at, for week one, and then for week two, week two, I picked Jay Crouch and Roman Krenikoff, and uh, and Ricky Garrard and Yanikowski and Emma Carey and Emma Lawson. I just push buttons. Ariel Lowen, Tia Toomey, and then I'm gonna win the grand. What if there's a tie, dude? I know I. That is one thing I haven't considered Jesus yet. Christ. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, um, you, you just split the money. Hey, so I'll get a thousand dollars cash. Like, sh like sh I could buy blow with it. I don't get like a thousand dollars. Yeah, you can buy, buy anything. It's not like you're giving me a thousand dollars worth of like go wad stuff. I get money, cash money. Dang. Oh, here's another question: Is there a Sevon group in the Heat One app? Not for this. Generally, we allow people to create their own leagues. With this, we just made this game uh, about a month ago. And so we just wanted everybody in the world to compete with each other, all be tied into the same thing. Of course, you can keep track of your friends' points. Um, you can look there. Oh, I can go to the leaderboard. Where, where they're, yeah, you can go to the leaderboard and track your friends. Okay. 
Guys, so any phone you're on, just go to the App Store, type in Heat One, H E A T One. All right, all right, cool, dude. Dang, yep. that that's baller, thousand bucks. Yeah, Tebow's cool, man. Thousand dollars. <laughs> we just did that on the on the fly <laughs> yesterday or oh, the other day. You just called someone at GoWad, and you're like, "Hey, pony up a K," and they're like, "No problem." <laughs> I didn't even have to ask him. He was like, "You want to do a K?" And I was like, oh, "I mean, duh." Uh, um, isn't it just, great when you have good sponsors like that who want to like? That's the that's the rising did. tides float all ships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy we have a product that makes him want to do that. Um, yeah. yeah, we just went over a thousand users. So oh, appreciate congrats. everybody. Have fun. All right. If I win, I'll take See you. you this, I'll take you to the strip club. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Bye. See y'all. All right, Tyler Watkins. He won a grand. Okay, um, I want to show you uh, this Steve Jobs saying this shit. And I've said this, what's awesome is I've said this a million times. Wh- whoever sent it to me yesterday in my Instagram, thank you so much. This is the deal. This is why, this is why the, everyone in the, in, in the locker room is just so savage. There, there's just no stopping us. There's, there's, we have too many doers. We're, it doesn't even matter. Nothing matters. We just have too many doers. We have like, we have 12 cook. We have 13 cooks. And the other team has zero cooks. It just has, uh, we don't even have to be a separate team either. That's not by, that's not by our choice. Shall I pull it up, Caleb? Or just keep oh, talking. I thought you'd, I thought oh, oh, oh. I got uh, it. no, I'm, I'm more than happy to race you. Here we go. Sevy. What's my Instagram? Sevon. Got it. Damn it. This one? Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Listen, listen to this. Here we go. Stage in Apple where we went out and we thought, oh, we're going to be a big company. Let's hire professional management. We went out and hired a bunch of professional management. It didn't work at all. Most of them were bozos. They they knew how to manage, but they didn't know how to do anything. And so if you're a great person, why do you want to work for somebody that you can't learn anything from? Uh, and you know what's interesting? You know who the best managers are? They're the great individual contributors who never, ever want to be a manager, but decide they have to be a manager because all, every, no one else is going to be able to do as good a job as them. We went, we went through that stage in Apple where we went. <clears throat> I never wanted to be the director of media at CrossFit. And, and, and when I became the, the, the head guy there, the chief marketing officer, the director of media, whatever you want to call it, I still refused to put my camera down and I still did shit. And I still made the behind the scenes. I made Killing the Fat Man. And it, w- it was not popular with the rest of the, uh, not with the rest of it, many but the other executives that I would keep working because I'm a fucking doer. And that's the thing. When you have just fucking doers, um, you, can, you can take over the fucking world. And, 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 and then, and, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. Doers that are fo- singularly focused on the same sort of uh, task at hand, same project. Harvard, MBA, Stanford, as soon as you see that shit, you're, you should just be like, sack of shit. Not that they are, but, but it's a safe default. It's a really safe default. So. Yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why CrossFit grew so quickly. Yeah, Greg just hired doers. We didn't have like managers, department heads, directors. Shut the fuck up. ROI, go fuck yourself. I've been saying it for years. You see, there's gonna be there like there's gonna be there's gonna be a tipping point. So, all right. I don't know if I have anything else for today. <clears throat> what do I have? You have anything else for today? Anything? Any parting words, Caleb? Um, I guess the schedule for today. We have oh. a just want to run through what we have going on today. Okay. Uh, I'm writing 10, it down. Ten fifty-five. Uh-huh. A.M. Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm. Got the pre-show. 
And that's uh, Grundler, me, and um, John Young. Yep. Hopefully. Okay. And then are we, we're doing another show at 1 p.m.? Yeah, that one has to be flexible, but yeah. So no shut up and scribble today, That, but that one will be, and that one will be me, Taylor, and John, and someone else watching Bryson do it. Okay, so that's 1 p.m. And then we've got, we're doing an update show tonight at 5 p.m. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a surprise guest or something on. You never know. I need to do, an, I wonder if Fikowski would do an interview with me. I'd love to have Brent on. I bet he would. I really want to have Brent on. Oh, here. Uh, more news. Listen. Hey. Hello? Hey. Are you live? We are. Oh, perfect. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you for calling. Hey, me. we're about to. Yeah. I love, uh, love your work. Thank you. You know, as a <clears throat> big fan. Thank you. Um, I have a million dollars I'd like to just give you. I was been waiting for you to call. Wow. Yeah, I know. Um, what I was actually calling to say is that we are about to, uh, as soon as you go off behind the scenes, the finale is going to go live because it seems like that's the best time to fit in today. How would you know that? That's so weird. You're the million dollar guy. The anonymous donor also I, knows when the. Um... I juggle a lot of hats. That's cool. I talk to your people. They talk to me. We've sorted it out. U upper management. Someone said you, you, you might be, this is Sevon's oldest child. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from a different mom. All right. It's confusing. I know. Hey, so that's it. So we did it. Yes, we did it. Congratulations. This is, this it's is crazy. Cool. Congrats to you. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. To yeah. everyone uh, listening, I know that you may think I'm just the rich guy with money, but uh, I've done a lot in my life to earn the millions and millions of dollars I have, but Seven has done more. And you still talk to the little people. It's crazy. I know. What can I say? I'm humble. I'm a <laughs> humble beast. I know you are. <laughs> hey, um, what what's the deal with uh do you know any do you have anything know anything about the one PM show? Do you think um is that gonna be a good show watching Bryson when you look into your crystal ball? I've I've gazed into my uh I've looked at the uh what's it called? The astrology for today. Yes, yes. And I'm feeling like a Pisces, so I think it's going to be a great day. Oh, but right. I'm identifying as a Pisces, and Pisces perform Rising well. Pisces in day. Yeah, I'm a Pisces. Yeah, you know my birthday's really. Coming. Yeah, my birthday's coming. I, I do know that. I've I've ordered another a million dollar check for your birthday as well. Thank you. Yeah, if it's a. If it no can problem. only be a big one though. It's got to be like one of those oversized ones. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. The check has a wide toe box too. Good. That'd be great. Hey, did you get a pair of Savage Ones? I do have a pair of Savage Ones. All right, good. Yeah. Excited. I'll be wearing them today. Awesome. All right. Hey, thank you for everything. I'm pumped. So the final behind the scenes live in three seconds. Yeah, I'm going to put it live. And then before you go off, I'm going to set the show to redirect to that premiere <coughs> okay, I'm of gonna... that show. So if you want to watch it, just stay on this video and it should take you after seven goes off. Okay, I'm going to go off in 30 seconds. I'll give you 30 seconds to set it up. All right, I'm racing. Okay, bye. All right, bye. God. Hey, doer. That dude is a fucking doer. Do you guys want me to show you something crazy? I'm trying to think where I would find it. Hmm. Where the fuck are you looking for that thing from last night? Yeah, did you like that? <laughs> That was fucking so good. Do you want the first thing that he sent or the most recent one from? Oh, he sent a new one? Yeah, it's a different video. But you want like the montage thing? Yeah. Oh, not not the cow. No, I know. Yeah, you want them before that. Yeah. Is that on YouTube yet? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, dude, it's always about it's guys. It's always about over over uh, initiative and over delivering. It is on YouTube. Oh, it but is. It's unlisted. Oh, can you play a little bit of it? Yeah. Um, yesterday, Patrick Rios just made this. We'll play like thirty seconds of it. I can't even fucking believe this. This is so crazy. And this is like everyone on the team's always over delivering. This is so nuts. Okay, we'll play thirty seconds of this. This will be live soon. You guys can watch the whole thing. Here we go. Hello. Hey. 
you're the director of the CrossFit Games now, right? Yeah, what's up? You think I could do the behind the scenes this year? Sure, why not? Awesome, seriously? This year feels like a lot different than the last few. Uh, just like mindset-wise and comfortability-wise, like you kind of know how things are going to roll and just like, yeah, like you said, feel more at home. Stay calm. Because like if you get excited and the crowd's going and you're in a headstand push-up and you lose your balance, you're done. So it's like very, you almost got to like ignore them a little bit for an event like this. Ending the day on a win. Um, is amazing but it's a really long weekend and i'm here to fuck the fight so all right good hey so this is rios just yesterday drops this to us it's just a total just recap of like behind the scenes shit it's crazy i couldn't i got a little emotional when i because i forgot about that call i made to dave you that little those tear ducts turned on yeah i was like wow yeah it was fucking cool yeah no one asked rios to do that shit all right. Uh, see you guys at 1055. Thanks. I had a really fun time hanging with all you guys today. Uh, doses. Thanks for the money. Thanks for everyone's contribution. Thank you, Mr. Schweitzer. And most of all, thanks to uh, Caleb and uh, James Townsend. See you guys in a couple hours. Bye-bye. Two hours exactly.